What's up everyone, I'm Cubastic, you will now be simply shocked by what I have prepared for you today. I brought such a thing, you will just love it. It is a puzzle, a game with 60 difficulty levels and can be played endlessly until you complete them all. It's called Domino Maze, here it is. You know, I've already shown you some of them on my channel, like Rush Hour or Houdini Puzzle. These are the same puzzles with multiple difficulty levels. So, this is something like a board game, which has its own idea, its own concept and a puzzle at the same time. You can select completely different tests and try to solve them. Naturally, all this is indicated here in a super detailed way in the instructions, but we don't need it. Therefore, we immediately get the task. Look what awaits us. There are actually 60 of them here. 60! Here just from the first puzzle and to the 60s. Interesting. First, let's see what we basically have here in the kit. The concept of this game is uh, the same as uh, the ordinary dominoes. Basically, we have here such plastic parts. We put uh, these plastic parts opposite each other in a special way and they knock each other down. Our task is to build such a snake so that it can drop absolutely all dominoes without any obstacle. In order to do so, we have a lot of dominoes and you can even create yourself a second level of difficulty. I mean that we can put a platform. Such a platform to which a ladder of dominoes will lead. So we can put a domino path from the first floor, lead it to the second and then lower it down the stairs again. This is… this is will be a victory, that's cool, you can even wrap it up like this. We are now doing a test version and see if uh, this series of falls will really move from the first floor to the second. Go! Yes, they all fall one after the other like this. The idea of the puzzle is to put some dominoes in their original position, take the other parts and use them to build such a maze of dominoes, so that when we launch the first domino, absolutely everything will fall and all the mechanisms here on this platform will be activated. And there are still a lot of them here, I suggest not to waste our time and start right away. Let's take some easy first level to begin with. No, the first one is too easy, let's take the second one. There's a card with the indicated elements that should already be present here and the elements that we need to use. In this case, uh, there's a green domino on the field as uh, the starting one and two red flags that we need to raise. I have already set the starting position, it looks like this, and our task using only four blue dominoes according to the conditions is to make sure that after the domino is lowered, both flags fall. Since uh, this is the second level of difficulty, everything is simple here, and for now we put them just one after the other. It turns out that uh, when the green falls, the blue ones fall and will hit this flag. Next we need to turn, we put uh, this one here, pretty simple so far. By launching the green domino, everything falls and two flags must turn over. <laughs> this is so cool! <laughs> I feel like a kid, damn! It looks so cool! Awesome! As I understand, the first level, the second, all this is just for children. We need to immediately take, well, for example, the eighth level. It shouldn't be difficult, but it looks like a lot, a lot of conditions must be met here. I will now put everything in its original position. Wow, we have a lot of conditions here, we have three flags here that we need to flip over. We also have blockers that prevent dominoes from falling in the wrong directions. It is, frankly speaking, just a block that prevents the fall of dominoes in the wrong place. We already have two blue elements that are in their places, but the truth is, judging by the card, the direction in which they will fall is still unknown. Therefore, we need to find out, and we need to use as many as 16 dominoes, so it will be a huge labyrinth. I think that this one should obviously fall in this direction. It's bad that it's located right here, because I would have turned a little earlier that way. I suggest trying to reverse the movement right here to the left. 
and then immediately go to the right in order to knock down at least the first leg. I really need to use a lot of details here. Problem number one. I cannot put move in this direction along this line because uh, there is a blocker here. It simply doesn't allow you to move. Therefore we will bend around it in some way. Let's see how many things we still have left. Yes, it seems to be enough. So... Why do I have so many of them left? I still have two wall pieces not involved. May I use less uh, than indicated? So, I have a plan. A green domino falls, hits this one and then it goes in such zigzag here, lowers the flag, the flag hits the next one, the next flag drops, we go further. Then we go around the blocker on this side, we proceed to the finish line and in the last turn we knock down the last flag. Everything seems to be logical, but since this is a really tricky puzzle, I don't even know how it will turn out. It remains only to start and watch it with a thrill. Let's go. Well, well, guys, is it really that difficult? Either I dump or it doesn't really work. Let's try once again. It is necessary to completely change the position, and this is only the 8th level. Let's try then from the other side. What if I do this, so that they fall from here and go further in a circle? Okay, let's check it out. I really like this. It's important not to knock everything down before you have built everything. And the last thing... Please don't fall. Yes, excellent. We used exactly 16 dominoes. It turns out we have the following maze. We start from the green one, move here. Here is the blocker, we go around it. Turn left. Knock off the red flag, turn, move on, crash into the blocker, turn back, grab the flag on the way back, take a sharp turn in the opposite direction and the last flag should be down too. If I put everything correctly, then it should work. This is only the 8th level, we have 60 ahead of us today. Whew, I hope it will work out, let's go. Well, who's the smart one here? Three flags are raised, all the dominoes have fallen, everything worked out clearly, the 8th level complete. Like this video, now the level will be more difficult, it was a beginner level, so to speak, the level of the green cards, and I no longer need it, I want to move on to something more complex. By the way guys, in the next video I will show you an awesome bandage DIY cube, so subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications not to miss it. Let's try to take something from the yellow level, this is the next level. I only look at the cards from one side because there's a solution on the other. We need to select something super interesting, exciting, so that it's fun for everyone. Ok, 29s. That's it. This is cool. 29s, uh, this is almost the blue level, it's almost complicated already. And here we need to build a pretty cool scheme. Let's go. Ok, I think this is already difficult. Firstly, our card says that we must put a ladder. We have to put the blue things on the stairs, we have a blocker and a possibility to use one more stair. Because uh, this card has the second level, yes, the second floor. I don't even know where to put it because it's not specified, so looks like our task is to move this flag by adding, for starters, 15 dominoes. In addition, we also need to install such an element, a really cool one. It is designed most likely to sharply reverse the flow. So we are building here, 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 it falls and then it goes in the opposite direction. Damn, this is a brilliant game! Why is it not so popular? It is really difficult, really, we need to think a lot. Most likely, we need to leave them up the stairs. Here. If the green one falls here, it is logical for it to turn up right to the stairs and move to the platform. And here, for this, just one domino has already been installed, so logically the platform should stand like this. Okay. 
Theoretically, if it descends from here, it will knock down this vertex. But we still need to use the thingy here. And, in fact, we need to raise our dominoes up. It's clear that here we have a blocker. We need it here so that we don't just put it straight like this. It's necessary to turn around here, make a detour through the upper platform. I put the last one. Ah. Now, all seems to be fine. We used everything we needed. After the green one, the path of blue dominus rises here, hits uh, this uh, turbine here, it knocks down the next path in the opposite direction and it knocks down the flag. If it all works now, I will be really impressed. So one, two, three, go. If only everything would fall. Yes! <laughs> I absolutely love this puzzle. Damn, for real. After filming I will definitely take it home and continue to build up the levels. Ok, we go to the next level and I think, why not, let's take the 60th right away. This is the last and most difficult level here, let's see what it offers us. And it offers us a lot, <laughs> check it out. There's nothing here, but there are two flags, one on the bottom and one on the top side, and that's all. I put all that was on the card of the last difficulty levels. We have given little information and we need to use a lot of everything. We need to use two ladders, the next platform, this thingy and 19 dominus. I don't know how, but it won't be easy at all. By the way, I try to release content more often, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Videos come out on Tuesdays and Fridays, so make sure to turn on all notifications so you don't miss anything, I will be grateful for your support. The difficulty of the 60th level lies in the fact that there are flags on both the upper side and the lower one. We need to somehow lower them at different levels. An additional complication is that it doesn't say where the platform is, it can be found anywhere. I suppose that it needs to be placed in a far corner from me. In order to have a place for interaction. But then we have a big minus, it's too far to this cell. Let's us then think more. What if uh, we put this fan right in front of our starting point? Then my direction of movement will go immediately in the opposite direction. So in reverse and I can turn it to the left. If I unfold it, then I can put the platform here too. The problem is uh, that our ladder takes two wall cells of the platform. Therefore, it may not be so bad. If we display it here, mm, uh, do I understand correctly? We go up here, turn around and fall over here. That's one tactic. If you want to go all the way from beginning to end, you need to start from the end. And from the last flag, I decided to immediately reverse the direction of movement. So we go down the stairs, knock down these dominoes and here, here we have a fan, this direction knocks down the flag in the opposite way. This is how it should work theoretically, but the question is, will the remaining details be enough for me to go this way? Let's try. Well, it's not enough, guys. And only one domino remains, and it obviously won't build such a zigzag here. We will not stop, I will solve this puzzle! I wonder if we can knock off the flag with this thing. If we put it here, like this. It works! It should work! The idea is good! I like it! So, I understood! This thing here can reduce the number of our details. Yes, roughly speaking, we have a track and it simply integrates into its center. The track will continue to fall further and the fan at the same time will knock our flag down. Excellent, I like it. I like the idea, the idea is good. Let's just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 
17, 18, 19. Still not enough. And I was so close. So close. Okay, well, where else can we put the platform? After all, in fact, everything depends on it. Okay. So, we can immediately, instantly change the direction here. By the way, can we? We can, why not? We can do everything. The idea is the following. We start in this direction, immediately go upstairs, grab this flag with the help of this thing, continue moving, fall over here and lower this flag. We should have enough dominoes, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. If I arrange everything correctly now, 19 of these pieces will be enough for me. And what, seriously, I'm going to complete this level? Wow, can you imagine how good my thought with a fan and a flag worked? It's just so cool. And the last one. It really looks so simple, take a look. It looks really easy, but it doesn't work so easy. The idea is this. We move here, with the help of this helicopter we lower the flag, move back, lower the second flag. Guys, let's check, go! Yes! We did it! High five, damn it! We have solved the most difficult one, the 60th level of difficulty of this puzzle. We also solved the first one, some other, and now just imagine, there are as many as 60 of them here. You can really sit here for a very long time and also building this path from Dominus is just fun in general. I don't know about you, but I really like this video. I hope I showed you something interesting, something that really inspires and delights you. So guys, don't be stingy, like this video and write your comment. In the meantime, I'm going to shoot the next video. We don't say goodbye for a long time, but here, right on the screen, other videos are already waiting for you. Go for it, watch and enjoy. That was Cubastic, goodbye everyone and have a good time.